Welcome, how are you? Um, I thought I'd bring you to another very noisy, busy street in East London for this one, so you're welcome. Essentially, I'm here to tell you that I love entertaining, but I actually can't cook. So this time I've enlisted the help of someone wonderful. She's an author, she's a television presenter, she's the queen of supper clubs, it's Laura Jackson. And I basically want her to impart all of her knowledge about putting together a supper club or a dinner party or whatever you want to call it and that way I can learn how to do it. So today is very much about pre-planning so I'm going to go and meet her in my entertaining space, the pub and then eventually we'll graduate towards the home. Laura, thank you so much Hi. for doing this with me. Um, I thought you'd be the perfect person to help because mm -hmm. you have years and years of experience of being the supper queen, essentially. Yes. The whole point of a supper club is that it isn't a restaurant experience, so it's more personal, it's more bespoke, and it's usually at somebody's house or in an interesting venue that you wouldn't ordinarily get to yeah. go to. Well, you've been very kind in offering your home for us to do this in, yes. which is really nice, and I'll explain that my house yeah. is tiny and I think you can only fit about four people mm -hmm. in my kitchen. It has been true in the past in New York mm -hmm. when I lived there. There's so little space in Manhattan that a couple of people I know were keeping uh, clothes in the oven because mm. you don't really switch it on. And I can't say that I haven't grown out of that. My culinary prowess extends as far as a soup, a pasta and a salad. At the same time? Often. <laughs> It will be at the same time, maybe a soupy pasta. Great. Um, a minestrone. Exactly. Yeah. See, this is why they pay you the big bucks. <laughs> so how many people do you want to have at the sub club? At your house, 20. Yes. OK, no. No, no. <laughs> um, <laughs> let me get back. We need to make notes. OK, let's make, OK, so first step, make notes. What's the plan for this afternoon preceding the actual supper itself? Flowers. Yeah. Um, then we'll go to the fabric shop. We need to get some linen for the tables and to make some napkins that you can choose. I'm going to make. I'm going to make a tablecloth. Yeah, it's really easy. Can you? Well, I have to sew it. No, no, no. We're just going to cut it. Okay. But it's going to look good. Okay. I'm all about cheats. I'm like Delia. -ish. Okay. Is Delia a cheat? She uses cans. She uses cans of food. No, she does. She does. She's okay, got cheat books. Okay, you smirch her character. <laughs> um, and then we're going to go to the veg shop and get the fruit and veg. How many people do you want? Let's do ten. Ten, okay. Ten people. Yeah. Okay. And what kind of thing do you like to cook, apart from minestrone? Well, I could. T I don't know what I like to cook, but I could tell you what I might like to eat. Okay. If I were to attend someone else's okay. dinner. Um, I think something that's not... It's winter, mm -hmm. so something that's quite um, cosy and m makes you feel, like, looked after. Yes. Do you like Italian food? I love Italian food, yeah. Do you know um, Malfatti, which is the um, ricotta dumplings, which is really nice. Yum, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let, let's make that, okay. And then there's a pink um, lettuce called Casafranca, which is out at the moment, which you'll love. It's like the... Which means it's out at the moment. It's out at the it, moment. It's it just season. hit the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, a, it's like a pink radicchio, and we could make that into a really nice salad. Lovely. Okay. And pretty. Yep. That's the thing, you want things that are really easy, look pretty, look like you spent ages doing it, but yeah. really you haven't. Is it nice to have a cheese board, maybe? I love a cheese we board. We love a cheese board. I love a cheese board. What's your favourite cheese? Anything creamy. Yeah, dairy. I'm five. <laughs> dairy Lee. Dairy Lee. Love a Dairy Lee. And some string cheese. Yes. Lovely. No, we've got Stilton. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Okay, we could get Stilton and some grapes. Okay, so so far we're going to do like a crostini, maybe a calcot and a romesco, then a malfatti with um, a Castelfranca salad. Yeah. Chocolate mousse, cheese board. Lovely. Okay, and then we should think about what kind of stuff we need to do on the table. Okay. Like I'm thinking me naked down the middle. That would be great. With the cheese board on me, a la, uh, what's her name? Sex, Sex and the City. City. Crackers. Yeah, lovely. Maybe you could bring something for the crackers that you want to give your guests. Well, weirdly enough, I'm, I like thimbles, small compasses, a tiny corkscrew and a miniature whisk. Sound good? That would be great. <laughs> Maybe some cute little lavender bags. That's nice. With you included in the ten people, that's nine guests. Who are your nine people coming? Um, so what's, what's your advice for the perfect balance of, like, chemistry? 
So maybe half of people that you really know really very know well, well and half of people that, that you I'd like, like to, to know, know better. better. Yeah. Okay, well, my close personal friend, Obama, um, slash from Guns N' Roses, of course. Dolly Parton. Yeah. Do you think um, Charlotte Rampling might be a bit too scary? I reckon she's a vegan. <laughs> this the dietary situation is really difficult when you're doing a supper club. These men have Michael Levis. Yes, of course. Um, why don't we give everybody a plus one? That's quite fair. Yeah, okay. Here's your basket for shopping. Thank um, you. Fruit and veg in there. Great. Right, let's go. So you've taken me to a flower shop. Yes. First things first, for the tablescape. Yes. So what would you recommend? Well, I think anything with colour is nice. And I guess it's more wintry, so kind of earthy colours. You said that you liked aubergine, so an aubergine colour could be pretty. Yes. Are we putting them in... in vases? Yes, we can we, we can either put them in stem vases and have like little stem vases on the table yes. or um, there's like a floristry trick called a frog. It's kind of a bit like a flat plate with little with little um, spiky bits and you put the stem into the frog and then it makes it look like you've done a flower arrangement that you, Great. you haven't. Why is it called a frog? I don't know actually, I'm not sure. Because it's got loads of rivets, rivets. Yes, oh my there God. you go. These guys look nice. I feel like that's quite you. Yeah, they're pretty. What about these? This is a nice colour. Beautiful. So do you consider the entire aesthetic of the dinner party before you even jump in? Yeah, I think I probably spend more time on doing like the table stuff than I do the food. That's nice. I know. Eucalyptus? Is that what it is? Mm. They can eat with their nose. But you, don't, but you don't want anything too powerful on the table, like a scented candle would be not right. Oh, I love that. How cute is that? Yeah, get, Should we get a few of those? Yeah, get loads of that. Please. Okay. Happy? Happy. Are you Great. happy? Thrilled. <laughs> so, vegetables. I, see, I can see some radishes. <laughs> yes, this is what we need. Hang on, let me get my book out because I always forget. Okay, so do you want to put them in your in your basket? Yeah. Okay, so. See, I know what the game is here. This is meant to look chic, but look, in reality, they're just going to fall out. <laughs> I don't know how French people do it. I always find most things that I need in the veg shop, and I always buy extra because I always think, oh, that looks really nice. I need to buy that. But then yeah. anything special, I'll probably order it online. That's nice, the radicchio. Yes, let's get one of those. See, I see things like this, and I think, how good would that be on the table? Okay. How nice is that aubergine? Love. What about some of these for the table? Because they're so pretty. And yeah. we could put ribbons around them. Really nice. OK, let's just get a few. We could also boil them and actually eat them. Yes. Do you think Dolly Parton would like a artichoke? Mm. More Obama. Yeah. Do you, have, do you take a seasonal approach to your supper clubs? Um, yeah, I guess I do. I think coming to the fruit and veg shop, I'll kind of wrap, like, write a loose menu like we've got, and then I'll always be inspired by what's in season. So I, yeah. I, I obviously in the summer I eat more salad -y kind of stuff and, and cook burrata and things like that. And then in the winter it's more about, you know, Jerusalem artichokes and the aubergines. And, yeah. But you can see what's in season by coming to your fruit and veg shop. Yeah. So you don't have to think about it too much. So we've got our fruit and vegetables. Yes. Um, we're going to get the specialist things either online or in other places. Yes. Um, where are you going to take me next? to the fabric shop. It's so amazing, you're gonna love it. We need to get um, a tablecloth and some napkins, but we're gonna make the napkins from the same fabric as the tablecloth. Very nice. Yes. I've never thought of doing that. This is amazing. It's good, isn't it? I had no idea this existed. I live quite close to here, mm. and it's kind of annoying. <laughs> I'm annoyed to find this out late in the day. There's loads of kind of um, fabric mills all over the world. You just need to Google them and find them, basically. Yeah. That's yeah. nice. I like that. Oh, I can't get it Here, out. let's get it out. Oh. Look how nice that might be. I think that's lovely. OK, you take the brown, mm -hmm. I'll get the lilac. Can you carry that? Yeah. I'm sorry, it's so heavy. OK. We're going to cut it <laughs> yeah. and then just fray the edges. Lovely. And we can iron it into a pattern, uh, well, into like a napkin shape. So my table is one metre by three metres. Yeah. So I'm going to get four metres to cover the edges. Yeah. So two of those. And then we need some for napkins. So I would normally do six napkins in a metre. Okay. 
So let's get three meters just in case we make any mistakes. Yeah. And then you can take some home. Okay, for great. your next supper club. I just acted like I knew what you were saying, <laughs> but I can barely count. So that sounds great. <laughs> Thank you so yeah. much. Yeah. That's going to be really, really nice. pretty. Yeah. Also, it's more like my vibe, which is like a bit boyish, but also sometimes ultra femme. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is it too much if we have a, like a weird glittery element? No, not at all. <laughs> well, so my eyeball keeps being drawn to that silver sequin stuff over there. Okay. Can you see it? Yeah. Should we just go and investigate it? Yeah. What would we use it for? I just like it. <laughs> <laughs> what about this? I love it. I, th I think it's more summery though. Okay. You'd spend so much money if you did this every week, because you'd just get... I literally have a fashion brand, that's why. <laughs> My life is hemorrhaging cash over fabrics. I'm like, ooh, we could cut this as little... Uh, Place placemats. Or in the middle to put the dishes on. Yes. It's very Dolly Parton. It's love. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Perfect. This is a lot of effort to put into a dinner, is it? I love this, though. I no, get I so love... carried away. I know, it's so nice. I've just never thought of doing it. I'm literally like a very selfish lover. It's also great because when you buy fabric, you can just keep it and reuse it. So I think I've got a cupboard full of napkins and tablecloths that I've bought from here over the mm. years that I can just reuse again and again. Have you got cash? No. <laughs> Do you? No. <laughs> oh, I never carry cash. <laughs> Thank you. Right. So we've got the fabric for the tablescape. We've yep. got the beautiful flowers mm -hmm. and we have the food yes. ready to prepare. Yeah. Are you going to take this to your house? Yeah, I'll take it. Okay, so you take that. I'll go home and have nightmares about cooking and we'll reconvene in the morning. You're going to practice tonight? Yeah, I'm going to practice my party chat. Okay. Dear Dolly. <laughs> Dear Dolly. Let's do this. There you have it. We're in the fabric shop signing off for this part. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe, like, ring the bell. Talk to me in the comments box. Your feedback's very, you know, it's just really nice to know that someone's watching, really. And return for part two, when you might get to meet Dolly Parton and you'll see me attempting to cook. Should be fun.